Welcome back to Andrew's Answers, and we're going to talk about our most uh, referenced topic, and most referenced I mean by me, and that's the subject of the complete record. If you have a short-term or long-term disability policy, and it originated from your employment, that means it was a benefit of your last job, then it's covered, most likely covered by a law called ERISA that we've talked about extensively. Now, ERISA has what I like to call a complete record rule, and this is a harsh rule. So it's really important that you watch this video and you know follow the steps carefully. Now, when you get denied on your short or long-term disability application or appeal, you have to file your first appeal at least with the insurance company. It's called an internal review. And during that internal review, what my job is, and any disability attorney, is to make sure that we submit all of the relevant information on your claim, whether that's individual medical records, whether it's medical opinion statements from your treating doctors, it could be testing such as a functional capacity evaluation or a neurocognitive exam, just to name a couple, or even a vocational expert opinion, which we routinely get. All of that evidence must be submitted during that internal review process if you ever want to file a lawsuit. So as I mentioned at the outset of the video, you usually have to file an appeal with the insurance company before you can even consider a lawsuit. So say for example you did file that appeal or the second appeal, well you've now been considered to have exhausted your administrative remedy. But generally you have to exhaust all of your administrative remedies before you can file a lawsuit. So when you do file that lawsuit and you serve the defendant, which is usually the insurance company, the insurance company is then required to provide a copy of your record to the court. And that's what we mean by complete record because that copy of the record to the court is complete, meaning what the judge sees is what's in there. So if you have a really helpful letter from your doctor, or maybe a functional capacity evaluation, or maybe our office won your social security case, and that's important too, you can't add that in there. So it is crucial that if you're in the appellate stage, meaning you're appealing one of your long-term or short-term disability now, is that you speak to an attorney, and I will get all of that information in your file so the court will have a complete record and hopefully can overturn the decision and we can be on the right track to get you your disability benefits. So if you have any questions about a complete record or if you're in the middle of an appeal or you think a denial is on its way, I encourage you to visit our website, which is linerlegal.com. Check out my bio and send me a message. We'll get you on the calendar right away. Thank you.